What is going on everybody? Stenodux here, back with another video for Monster Crown. This time around we have another tutorial video. Uh, for this tutorial video I'm going to be going into breeding, how it works, when to unlock it, so on and so forth. Uh, first, to, to unlock this feature you have to make sure you progress far enough in the story where you, and this is a spoiler alert for the story, you have to save your father. That's all I'm going to say, but once you do that and you bring him back to the farm, you will be able to uh, access the breeding center that happens to be on the farm as well. Also another spoiler, but this time I'm not going to actually say that. Uh, I want to show you real quick, I'm going to give you three examples of things that I've bred to create in this game through breeding, these hybrids. Um, first I have Flamio, named after a, a reference from After the Last Airbender. This guy I named Pointy, and this guy, this is just a simple Rodask. Rodask I got from just literally breeding two Rodask. I wanted to see what happened, and obviously I just got a generic uh, Rodask. Something else I noticed, I had two Brilliant or Rainbow Monsters, whatever you want to call them, basically Monster, ta uh, monster Crown's uh, variation, their version of a Shiny Pokemon instead. Uh, but instead, it's it's a rainbow-colored monster, as you guys can see. I'll I'll show you in my monster box. I in any case, I have two of them. I have this Belit here, and I also have this Rodas that I caught just today. I tried bringing them together to see if they would automatically give me another one, and it did not. Now I don't know if that increases odds or not, but that's aside from the point. So now I want to tell you guys how you actually breed said monster. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you have two monsters that you want to breed. I'm going to try breeding for this time around. I'm going to try uh, uh, Knight, and I'm going to try this Hyena. I feel like these could make an interesting uh, monster. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to talk to this lady here. Now, there's a lot you can do with this. Uh, to act, You can access your monster box on the top one. You can breed, but in order to breed, you have to, and she'll say, you must set a primary and secondary monster first. Uh, code is a serial code, a secret code, that of which I don't know anything about. Um... And set genes are for alternate chromosomes, and unfortunately, I can't tell you how to do that. This is, again, just a basic, basic guide on how to just breed them, breed said monsters. So, uh, now you get to the bottom, you're going to see there's plus and minus. This first one is the primary monster where you're going to set it, and the second one, the minus, the blue one, is going to be where you would set your secondary monster. Now, depending on what you put, what monster you put where, it can actually alter uh, the monster itself. So, we're going to select uh, Knight for the uh, primary monster. I did not want to go to the monster box. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. This game's a little bit, um, it's in early access, so a lot of things are a little, um, a little buggy, but it's okay. Something to work through. Uh, and then we're going to set high enough for the second one. Now, once you have two monsters that are in these, uh, those locations there, you're going to click the breed button. And then you're going to see that they're going to make an egg. And that is, an, that is a cool looking egg. That almost looks like a chow egg from Sonic Adventure 2. Uh, now what I want to do, in order to actually remove them, uh, click your toggle button. You'll see on the right side it says take with toggle. It took me a little bit to figure that out. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually swap them for high and primary. And I don't, see, I don't know why it's why it's doing this. I'm literally just trying to click buttons to progress through the, uh, the menus here. Anyways, and then what you're going to do is you're going to do your secondary one again. And then I'm going to click breed again. And see where the differences lie. Ah, see? That is already a much different looking egg. So now that you have both of your monsters, or all your monsters, whatever, you're going to see on the top right corner there's an egg. Uh, you're going to see when you uh, open your inventory again, you unlock this when you progress far enough in the game. When you get the breeding feature, you're going to see your eggs are here. So you can, I believe you can have up to six eggs. What goes on the bottom, I'm not honestly sure. Uh, maybe extra ones. Uh, I guess we'll find out in due time. But uh, in any case, we basically like in you know other you know games i guess just walk around do stuff until an egg is about to hatch you will hear a noise that sounds like an egg hatching um which will come in due time so we'll wait till we hear that okay there we go the egg's hatching now i was gonna see if maybe going into the inventory or the monster box would actually change anything all right so now that the egg is hatching make sure you go to your eggs uh, spot and you're gonna see that the first monster egg is shaking and let's see what comes out wow that is so cool that is a really cool monster. 
And when you get to name, when you make these uh, hybrid ones, uh, even the Rodask actually, you were able to name it, but you actually name them yourself because these are supposed to be creatures you've never seen before. So the idea is you're making these hybrid monsters yourself, and then you get to find them and you get to name them yourself, which is really cool. I don't quite know what I want to name this thing, but for some reason I kind of want to name it Scar after the Lion King. Uh, I know it's not a lion, but for some reason it's giving me that kind of vibe right there with the you know the edginess and stuff. So now let's open the or let's hatch the second egg and see what comes out of this one wow look at that see and that's the thing those are both the same parents but they created two entirely different monsters so what are we going to name this thing uh uh boo <laughs> i don't know i didn't know what to name it um so yeah once once it prompts us okay we're gonna check out uh those monsters and i really like this one a lot i actually really like scar here um this is pretty cool still too um you can see though they're entirely different monsters they can do you know they have much different appearances their attributes are completely different uh so on and so forth and again that was just from having them in two different locations for primary and secondary so uh, what i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna remove them and then I'm going to show you guys, we're going to do one more monster just to see, you know, what else we can make. And for that, let's let's look at what we have here. As you can see, I got a lot of monsters over time. Uh, let's try, who, do, who, do we, who else do we have? I'm trying to think of who, who could make a good uh, monster, like breed to make a good monster. This guy, this guy's pretty scary looking. I don't know. If we should maybe mix him with with uh, this vulture here, why don't we why don't we try that? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move uh, these guys in here, and then I'm gonna move these two into my party, and then we're gonna see how they can make two entirely different monsters as well. So then let's go into the plus sign here, set Zachariah in this spot. Okay, did that thing again. I guess I'm clicking a button too fast and it's making it want to um, skip through the one page. I really don't know. Oh, you can actually see on the on the right side here, there's a blue crown. I guess it shows if it has been bred or not. As you can see, there is this. these four have that blue crown. This is two, probably because it's a hybrid and then this one does not. So let's select this one. Then we're gonna click breed and then they're gonna breed together and make an egg. And then from here, we're going to just remove them again, and we're going to swap them this time. So now we're going to put Volter in the primary, and then the secondary. Oh, wait, I don't think it clicked the secondary. There we go. It didn't, it didn't highlight the secondary spot. And then we'll put these two here and breed them. Ooh, that egg has a different color, actually, than the last one. And now let's exit. And then we'll wait for those eggs to hatch. Now I think, I think they were about to hatch more when uh, I was in this little, in the thing here. If I like click on monster box and see uh, what's here. Okay, we'll just have to wait and see when this will hatch. Here we go. All right, we got the next set hatching. All right, so let's check it out. First egg. As you can see, one is a, has a redder tint, one has a bluer tint. So let's see the, the first one. Oh, it looks just like Zachariah. Is it perhaps this might have been actually another hybrid? Then I'm wondering because it's a different color too. Now this is interesting. See, I don't even know uh, you know what to think of all this. So let's call this guy. Um, let's call him Zach. And then we got the other egg hatching, and let's see what he does basically guys this guy is going to show you that anything is possible in this game you know there's still a lot of questions to ask a lot of things to find out um and wow what is that thing that is that is unique i don't know what that is but it looks pretty looks kind of derpy i'm not gonna lie derp i'm calling derp so I want to. What I want to do next is I want to compare um, the monster Zach that we created compared to the Zachariah that we actually saw um, that we had. Again, I so I want to. I want to say this much. Uh, I got that one from um, a trade in game. So the one that we just got 
is a different color, and that might be because of the parents that it had was uh, the Zachariah and the next thing. So yeah, it's literally it's the same monster with different coloring. Now that now that is really cool. So you can basically do a lot of different things. This basically this video is going to show you that almost anything is possible. Like honestly, if I want to mix Scar with another monster, that might be able to change its coloring. Uh, honestly, the possibilities here are endless, and I'm so excited to share this with you guys. And I hope you guys try this out for yourselves. And of course, if you did find that helpful, please be sure to like and subscribe. Stay tuned for future videos. If you want to play this game, it is currently $15 on Steam. It is in early access, so it's a little bit buggy, but it's still a very enjoyable experience as they're working through patching a lot of these things. If you end up playing this game, of course, please do enjoy it. And as always, happy gaming.